Okay, Friday morning in the kingdom, and it's the long weekend in the United States of America. Their first long weekend to start their summer. Well, at least they're getting summer, except for in Montana, they're getting snow. But oh well, we are chilly willy. Yes, it's <laughs> last weekend in May, and I'm wearing my winter jacket. Oh wait, I wear that in September too. All right, so this morning we woke up to plus three Celsius, but feels like plus one. And then on the yo-yo scale, plus 37. Yes, I have a 37 hot rod truck for my wasted youth. And then on the feels like, plus 34. Yes, 34. All right. So today, we'll be drinking, or this weekend, we'll be drinking Budweiser. Yes, Budweiser for the Americans as they enjoy their weekend sitting on the boat and water skiing and having fun. Oh, not us. We still have ice on the lakes up here. All right, so I untangled the flags over there. Yes, there they are. All right, let's scroll this way. I hear a helicopter. It can't be Dick because he hasn't buzzed the house. But oh well. Okay, the sun is over. Oh, I'm confused here. Okay. The sun isn't coming up yet. We might get rain today, but the sun should be coming up over there. Yes, over there. And then today, since how we made a mess landscaping the yard, we're going to take Thor the dump truck out. Yes, Thor the dump truck. He used to be Thor the plow truck, but we haven't plowed anything with it for, with a, for, we have not plowed anything for over a year now. So. He's now pl Thor the dump truck. Oh, these lips need some more Budweiser. Yes, I should have had it on my cornflakes. Yes. All right. So we'll have to get Thor out today. Seems how we're not running a wing on the side there. We can put a convex mirror on the mirror. Yes, a small convex mirror so I can see how close the objects are. Ooh, that was a meatloaf song. Objects in the mirror seem closer, I think it was. Oh, I'm so confused today. So that'll be the day project today. Put the bucket on the loader and use Thor to haul the, uh, haul the dirt away and the fill for the, how would you say, we're landscaping by the house. We dug a hole. <laughs> yes. i lucky I didn't walk out of the house and fall in it this morning. Yes, but I used the ramp. All right, let's continue. No wood stove this morning because we're not going to be in the shop. We'll be riding the hoe and the loader and getting ready. The staff is going to her Mickey Mouse job. Yes. So that's kind of nice. She's not at the school. I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, babysit 40 kids. Well, isn't there laws that maybe a teacher should be in the building too? Oh, well, not my problem. Okay, so we just about made the full rotation. And there we go. The flags are in their limp state. There's a slight breeze. Oh, well. All right, we better get to work. We got lots to do, and here comes the boss. Okay, it only took a few minutes, and I mounted the convex mirror on the mirror. Okay, so there's the convex mirror. There's the mirror, and you can see the wing comes up and damages the smokestack or the exhaust stack. So I had mounted a convex mirror out front here, so it wasn't, wasn't in danger of getting whacked, okay? All right, let's go see what the next project is. Ooh, it's getting windy out here, but those flags look good for the American long weekend. Just look at that. That's the Amer American flag, which is larger than the ones we get. And we put it up there in honor of the ladies of Wasp who flew that Beach 18 when it was brand new. So there's the bucket and there's the fork stand. So now we have to move three items to get those dragged out so we can put them on the loader. All right, let's get to work. It's going to be a busy day today. Okay, that didn't take long to dig out the bucket from over there. And we put the forks on the rack. That's how we do it. And we have a special tray here for putting the bucket on. So it's upside down. So we put it on, back up, and then it flips right. All right, so we got the bucket on. And it's spitting rain. So we got Thor, the dump truck, plugged in. So let's get him up and running and haul some dirt. This rain should keep the dust down, in theory. Okay, as a big time contractor back in the 1960s, I guess you would say. No, the 70s, because that's a 1969 uh, 922 cat loader rear wheel steering. I remember back then they didn't have much for brakes. So we're using the terrain and everything here as a means of driving the loader. We have Thor, the dump truck right here. And he has a 1982 or 83. I forget. It's just like the kid's age. I always forget. I'm a man. All right. So what we did yesterday was windrow everything out. And now we drive the loader up here to the pile, get the pile, let the loader roll back downhill, 
and then use the pan brake right in there to drive forward to dump. So we're going uphill at all times. That way the loader is not rolling out of control. Dump in the box, let the loader roll back, use the park brake, and then drive forward for your second load, okay? So our staff is here, you can hear her in the background, so now she'll videotape me with a great, uh, how would you say, loading of the Thor the dump truck. Okay, I already done one test dump here of rocks. We had a little bit of brown stuff because I took one to the cover of the garbage and stuff like that. Because remember, we're pulling all that garbage out of the wilderness. So we got some rocks here. Now the staff is here to film me. We'll do the next load and then she has to go to her Mickey Mouse job. All right, let's see if we can get some filming done. Friday morning in Whoville, it's just after 9.30 a.m. and I'm making breakfast now. I work at the store from 1 to 6 p.m. doing some training and stuff, but at 11.30 I have to go to the kingdom and help my dad out for a few minutes. It kind of feels like it's starting to rain. Now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out. Almost 11.30 and I just got the quad out. Now I'll head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. It was raining earlier, but now the sun's trying to peek out, but it's still pretty cloudy and windy, so let's get going. 11.30 and I made it to the kingdom. Looks like my dad is in behind the trailers getting some dirt and gravel and stuff with Thor. So we're gonna do a couple trips in here and try and fill all this in. That way my dad can pull the dirt back over. So I better get over there and see how he's doing.
didn't take us very long. We were able to get Thor loaded. Now I'll get a couple videos of my dad dumping up by the house. Just got another load dumped with Thor and I'll head on back over and see if my dad needs some help with the second load. The sun's starting to peek out behind the clouds as well, but sure is chilly out today. I have my toque on. Almost 12 p.m. and I'm officially done in the kingdom. Now I'll head on back into Whoville and make lunch and let the dogs out and get ready for work at 1. Hopefully when I come back after 6 p.m. all this will be landscaped so I can have my parking spot back because it is a pretty far distance to walk all the way over there to the steps. Almost 1 p.m. and I just finished up lunch. I had leftovers from last night. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in, and get to work. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom and I get to ride the hoe. Yes, ride the hoe, make me happy. So I pulled the material down from there onto this pile here after I flattened it out. But as you can see by the little mini hoe tracks, I came down here to pull the rocks down and put them into the deep area, which we call it the deep end. Yes, just like the pool at the YMCA. So now I'll smooth this out a little better and then go load Thor the dump truck and come back and in theory we should dump a load right in here and then this part will be flat and then we can move over a smidge and finish off in here. We should have lots of material to do this project. It's really costing nothing, just fuel, beer, time, fuel, beer, time. Yes, we're getting it cleaned up and that's the main thing. Okay, I used the loader to smooth out the pad there and the loader also I went back and forth to pack it down because I don't want to dump a Loaded box you'd say on soft ground. So I knew the loader was good in there So then I backed in and dumped this so let's get the mini hoe out landscape But there might be one more dump here, but it's hard to say but this is working out good Thor the dump truck. It's hard to get used to driving it in the summer because we're used to driving it in the winter when it's so cold and yet it's so warm in there now. All right, let's keep working. Okay, it's going good and we're coming up high with the dirt, but the rocks are low. We have to start sloping this down towards the building here, the canopy shed and the ramp over here. 
I didn't pick a good film location. Oh, well. But the thing is, it's best to be high, and then I can shave it down using the cats and stuff like that. Plus, we have to allow for comp compactation. Ooh, that's a big word. Okay, so I've dumped some stuff here. So now i got to walk the mini hole back over here and get these rocks to fit in, plus all that brown dirt stuff to mix in too. Like, we want this stuff to be... Oh, I got the burps. I just had peanuts. Okay. We want this stuff to be mixed in. We don't want big air gaps or anything like that. Plus, we want the big ones not to be sticking out. So when we start landscaping, they don't pop up and then they're a problem. Okay, let's go see how we're loading the loader. Okay, the 922, when you start digging down with the bucket, you get all the rocks coming up. Okay, I'll show you in the next video the problem we have. So this is why the mini hoe is so handy. Yes, it can hide in the trees. Yes. Also, too, we were pushing these rocks out of the trees because somebody put them in the trees. Like this one here was probably all past where the mini hoe was. I dragged it out yesterday. So this is the way we do it. Put the bucket down, flip it in. But the staff usually runs the hoe and I run around with the loader. So now I need some big rocks to do the dividing wall or whatever the drop down of that pad we're building. So that's why we're coming over this way. So it's working out good, having everything in a line. So now I can take this debris field here over to where we dump the garbage or yeah, that garbage area or our hiding area. And then I can get those rocks over there. And I want that big one too today. That's our goal is to get the big one. Okay, this turned out good with Thor parked over there. I've got him on the driveway there showing him off. So parking Thor there, grabbing this row of dirt and debris right here. Oh, follow the finger. I'm going to have to get a laser pointer. Yes, and I cleaned it up pretty good. And once I got to this bedrock here, that's where I had problems because the bedrock, it doesn't, uh, how would you say, it's hard to get the bucket to fill. So then the last little bit here, we just use the mini hoe to push it in. I'm saving this area here because it's all rocks, small little rocks and stuff like that. And this here would be good topping material, you know, for the next pot phase of that pad. And we just have to move that weight box there. But this bush is looking really good. Very pleased. We'll have no problems coming through here with sleighs and everything in this winter for filming. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, it's going pretty good. It's coffee time in the kingdom. And notice my little white tree dyer. That's when we grew up on the farm or helping the farmers. And we had to back the grain truck up to the augers. You always had your sticks for guidelines. So we're getting a pretty good load. The load, the bucker. On the loader, you always have to load the far side and let it come up because it doesn't have quite enough reach, just like my honeymoon. All right, so there's the mini hoe hiding in the trees. So we got this far here, so it's working pretty good. Now we can move the trees here with the mini hoe so we can access these rocks and the debris piles right there. Oh, it's going good. And we're able to do a nice, how would you say, almost a fine finish considering we're riding the loader. Okay, 5.30 in the kingdom, and we have two more debris piles over there. Those brown piles we're using to cover the, the dump thing or whatever. So over here, we got this landscaped. Yes, I hand placed those, or mini hoe placed those rocks right where I wanted them. That's the big ones. We still have one more big one. So in the back there, we can finish it off with smaller rocks because we have lots of rocks this summer. But the main thing is I got this landscaped. So the dogs can see out and the staff when she arrives she can park her quad we have highs and lows but that's a fact of life it'll pack nicely all right let's go get those two debris piles hauled and then we can call it a day just two more to go and it's friday the long weekend in the united states of america i can taste that budweiser right now 4 p.m. and I'm just getting on my break now. It's been a pretty good day. I'm learning a lot today. We are doing sandwiches, so now I know how to make all those. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and get ready to go back to work at 4.30. Just after 6 p.m. and I made home from work. It was a pretty good afternoon. I learned how to make some salads. I think I'll get the hang of it. I have a couple more days until I take over as the deli and produce. Now it's time to head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. 6.30 and I made it to the kingdom. Looks like my dad got the parking spot finished. Looks quite nice to me. I'm able to park right by the house now. My dad will be parking Thor over here when we're finished today. Now I gotta head on over here to where my dad is. He's on the mini and then help him load up the loader with the last load of Thor and then I think we're finished for today.
didn't take us very long. We were able to get the last load into Thor. Now I'll take the mini around and park it in front of the shop, and then my dad's gonna unload Thor, and then he'll park up by the house. Almost 7 p.m. and I'm officially done in the kingdom. My dad's going to jump on the loader and push around some dirt and stuff. So I'll head on back into Whoville with my dog treats and do the weather. As I was leaving, he showed me he found another little bottle. I wonder what this is. Let's get going. 7 p.m. and I made home from the kingdom and put the quad away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do the weather. 7.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. Same weather as yesterday. It has been pretty nice out today other than it tried to rain a few times. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in, make supper, and end my day. Okay, that turned out very well. So we have that all cleaned up. We still have that to do. This is cleaned up here and going this way. This worked out very good. So we got loose ends in here, trees and stuff like that. But the main thing is, we just have to move that rock and then we can put the wings from that plane. Yes, the plane. And we have a little bit of debris right here to tidy up. The staff showed up at a perfect time to help out and finished up. It's good at 7 o'clock. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Where Thor the plow truck, I mean Thor the dump truck is parked. That's a little high, so we'll have to pack it down, which is good. And we used all the rocks right here, and we had just enough gravelish, uh, gravel stuff there. Yeah, that graveled stuff. Yeah, the packable stuff to, to fit, make it level. Okay, so we got the rocks here. We got rocks to put in the back over there and stuff like that. Now maybe we'll figure out what to do over here because we have bedrock right there. Maybe we can get landscaping and smooth it out. You never know where the bedrock is over here. Maybe we can slope it back. We're not sure, but that'll be tomorrow's project. Okay, we're done for the day. The ravens are squawking, so it's got to be supper time or past their bedtime. You never know. We worked late tonight on a Friday of the American long weekend. All right, let's look at the flags. Not enough breeze to excite them. All right, let's go drink some beer and go oh, walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.